Well, the sun and the warm temperatures, they sure felt good outside, mm -hmm. but uh, not all good for people who suffer from seasonal allergies. Been using a lot of these lately. Yeah, we'll all yeah. raise our hands. For some, allergies are kicking in early this year, and unfortunately, that means the allergy season will just last longer. Our health and wellness reporter, Lauren Petty, has more. During allergy season, this is a daily trek for Dr. Rushna Shaw. The Burkhardt Spore and Pollen Counter. The machine on the roof of Gottlieb Memorial Hospital in Melrose Park. It's sucking air through this little nozzle. And deposits it on a slide to track the pollen count, typically starting on April 1st, but not this year. We did a count last week, just kind of out of curiosity because the weather's been so nice. That count found tree pollen is already moderate and mold is low. That's very unusual for this time of year. Even when we start counting in April, usually tree pollen starts off at very low levels. If trees or mold are your allergens, you're probably already feeling it. And unfortunately, a prolonged allergy season may be here to stay. Our data looking at pollen trends over time has been showing that, that the seasons are shifting and becoming longer. If you don't have allergies but are still stuffy, you could be suffering from another condition brought on by these vast temperature swings. The first thing I think is it's the ups and downs that are bothering people. You know, the high highs the lows, the highs the lows in a given day. And that is something we call vasomotor rhinitis. And the way we fix it is we often have people use nasal antihistamines for that. Dr. Beju Malde at Northwestern Medicine says her office is already busy. I have a ton of people lately that their main complaint has been a sore throat over and over again. And like, is it post nasal drip? Is it acid reflux or is it a cold? And I'm like, COVID's not gone. Dr. Shah says learning what you're allergic to through allergy testing could help eliminate any confusion. It is possible you may have a cold and if you're not tree allergic, then those kind of avoidance measures like keeping windows closed may not apply to you. Keeping the windows closed is hard on a day like today, but it is a best practice for seasonal allergy sufferers. Showering at night to wash off the pollen and also wiping off your pets after they've been outside, that can help too. Lauren Petty, NBC5 News.